What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC, and today I'm checking out the Alpaca Gear Elements Tech Case. Uh, if you've watched my channel before, you may know that uh, I've reviewed other Alpaca Gear pouches in the past, the hub pouch in particular, as well as the uh, Tech Kit, which is kind of the little brother to this one. A uh, little bit different, obviously, in the design, but also a little bit smaller. This one fits quite a bit more. Um, and so I have a few more other pouches that I've bought and that I plan on reviewing in the future. But uh, recently had the opportunity to become sponsored by Alpaca Gear, and obviously, being a big fan of their pouches, I jumped on that pretty quickly. And uh, so, as an Alpaca ambassador, they sent over this pouch as well as a few other pouch, a uh, few other items that I chose to review. And um, super excited to take a look at this. I mentioned in the uh, tech kit video that I wanted to check this out anyway, so it was a nice opportunity to do so. And then obviously it's a little bit beneficial because I do now have an affiliate link that I'll list down in the description below that if you use will earn me a few dollars per purchase that uh, I can put back towards the channel at no additional cost to you. And in fact, the trade-off is that I also have a coupon code that'll save you 15% that I'll put right next to that, uh, that affiliate link that you can use to save 15%. So kind of a win-win Either way, you know, I get to make a little bit of extra money that I can put towards the channel. You get to save some money if you're interested in these pouches. Um, obviously up to you if you use that link or not, but if you're interested in them, you can save some money using that coupon code. And I get to review a lot more pouches on the channel. Um, I'm already buying them anyway. I have pouches that I'm still gonna review that uh, I bought myself, but um, get the chance to add some that they're sending over for review as well. Um, so onto the pouch itself. This is the again the Elements Tech case. Uh, it's accordion style. It opens kind of clamshell, but not full clamshell because again it is accordion style. So um, it expands quite a bit. It, this these run seventy nine dollars. No matter which colorway you get. Um, sometimes they'll do like exclusive colorways that are sometimes a few dollars more. But so far all of the ones that are listed on the website are seventy nine dollars. Um, and depending on what color you get is the external material that you're going to get. So this is the dark multicam, which means it's the X-Pack X50 uh, material. But if you're getting a different color, just look in the description. It'll tell you what the external material is going to be. And obviously, if you have a preference, you can choose the color accordingly. But if you don't have a preference, it'll just... They're all, they're all relatively similar, honestly. Um, so the dimensions of this pouch are nine and a half by five and a half, and they advertise it as two and a half inches deep. But uh, obviously, I have this thing pretty packed, so it's a lot thicker than two and a half inches. The nice thing about this pouch is it can also double as a sling pouch, and so if I were using it in that capacity, I'd probably pack it a little bit less thick and uh, keep it a little bit more sleek. You just uh, it looks a little bit better but the way I use it which uh, is also why it's a little bit dirty is that I just kind of toss this in my backpack and uh, you don't really see it in the backpack you obviously see it when I pull it out but I'm not as concerned with it uh, looking sleek um, so not a big deal but again another big benefit if you're using this as a sling pack the materials all the different materials are going to be weatherproof meaning that Water is going to beat off them, but if you soak them, it will soak through. And then the zippers are waterproof, so they have these nice zippers. Uh, they're not YKK, but they're really nice. I haven't had any of my alpaca pouches fail on me. And they're all going to be kind of this reverse so that the seam is on the inside and uh, waterproof. Obviously, the weakness being the last little gap if you don't get it closed all the way. But these are going to be pretty weatherproof. Obviously, don't soak them, but um, pretty weatherproof. And it does come with an included strap, again, to use that as the sling pack. So you just attach it to these loops here on the backside. Um, and they just slide right in there. So really simple to convert it over to that sling pack. And as a sling pack, or I guess even as a tech kit, it will fit an iPad mini. The most recent generation, which I think is six, will fit in there. Um, obviously, who knows with future iPads, but they will fit in here and uh, work pretty well. I don't have the iPad mini. I have a full size one, so wasn't able to test that out, but obviously measurement wise, it will fit. And so onto this kind of front pouch, I mentioned already the waterproof zipper, but it also included this uh, nano tool, which is the phone stand. And so these just kind of slide out the, out of here and it flips open into a little phone stand that you can use. Um, it mostly only works in the horizontal orientation if you do them vertically. Uh, it's a little bit unstable. It will hold it, but it's unstable. I actually 
took a look at the nano tools in my review for the tech kit. So if you're interested in checking those other ones out, I'll put the link up in the corner of the video. Uh, they have a blade as well as a pen that all function as zipper tools, and this one obviously came on here. I don't know if they always will or if it'll be different ones from time to time, uh, but you can buy these separately as well. So diving right into this front pocket, I don't have a whole lot in here, but uh, just stuff that I use kind of frequently. So uh, the first thing, using a MacBook, uh, there's no HDMI connection, so a converter for an HDMI connection, which comes in handy quite a bit, as well as an SD card reader. This also has a micro SD card reader on it, but uh, my camera uses SD, so I'm mainly using it for that at this point. And then the last thing in this one is just a USB converter. Again, no USB on MacBooks, so I have a few of these throughout the pack, and this is just the first one, have one up front because they come in handy. Um, there's also a pass-through that's not so easy to see from here, but once we get into the main pocket, I'll leave this unzipped and show you where that pass-through hits and uh, something going through there, so just so you can get a sense of it. The inner material is this uh, blood orange honeycomb 200D ripstop nylon, is what they're calling it, and all of the pouches, no matter what external uh, material you get, are going to have that. Sometimes you'll see on some of their other pouches, they have like a blue version of it as well, uh, but all of these tech cases have the uh, orange version. One other note on the zippers, uh, which seems like I'm talking about the zippers a lot, uh, but one of the other notes is that uh, the top main compartment is lockable, so there is a pass-through there for a uh, lock that you can use if you have any valuables in there, especially if you're putting like an iPad in there, for example. Um, you might want to lock that up, so nice little feature there. And then again, I just kind of stuffed this with stuff that I actually use um, on a day-to-day -day basis. I've only been carrying it for about a week, but uh, it fit most of the stuff really nicely. Sometimes I change it up. Um, I've done a day where I had like an external hard drive in there, and also days where I'll put like some of the other pouches from Alpaca Hub or <laughs> Alpaca Gear in there. So like the zipper pouch, or I just got this one in the mail today, but I have the black version of the hub pouch as well. Um, will fit well in there if you don't have it too stuffed. How I have it now, they won't fit, but again, just depends on how you load it out. And so I stuffed this full of gear, one, because that's stuff that I actually use, and two, because I like to show what amount of stuff and what size stuff actually fits in these pouches, just to give you an, a sense. Obviously, we have the measurements, but you might have some of these items and wonder if they'll fit in there, and uh, it just makes it easier to kind of gauge the capacity of these pouches. So right up top, this is the charger for the MacBook, and uh, somewhere in here, right over here, we'll also have that power brick that goes with it, kind of a little bulky brick. I wish they can get this a little bit smaller, um, but it is what it is. Um, so that's in there, and those are pretty bulky, honestly, so if you can find another way to carry them, it'll slim this down quite a bit. Uh, next up is, just kind of keeping with the theme, the Magic Mouse from Apple as well. Probably the worst design mouse in the world because the charging port is on the bottom. I think I mentioned this in my tech kit video as well, but super annoying thing. Still use it. I bought it. I mean, I'm not going to replace it at this point, but super annoying. Um, in this pouch, I also have the Anchor, I guess it's like a USB hub, basically. On the MacBook, there's two plugs. You can use converters to get two USBs, but if you need more than that, you need something like this, which will kind of expand that range and give you four more USB ports. Um, what order do I want to go in here? Next up, I have the uh, Apple Pencil, and so have this in here. It attaches magnetically to the iPad itself, but uh, depending on how you're carrying it, you might not want to uh, have it there because it will fall off and get lost in the bottom of your backpack. Um, so I do like to keep it in here, but this is a good item that I can use to show where that uh, pass-through is. So right here on the main front pouch, there's a pass-through, and you can push this through, and it comes right out that main section. So this is really good if you're using it in sling mode, even if you're not, but especially if you're using it as a sling, you can put your cell phone in there and have a battery backup in the main section with a pass-through to charge it here, or you can run a cable all the way across and... Um, have it come out and leave this zipped. It would have been nice actually to have this on both sides just so that um, 
damage. Maybe they do, actually. I don't think so, though. No, they don't. Um, would have been nice to have it on both sides, just because uh, closed, you'd want it over here, and so you just have to leave it open a little bit. But as it is, you can either leave it open all the way or run a longer cord all the way across. And some of the cords that I have in here don't really work for that, so I'll show you that. Um, but I guess you wouldn't really be using them externally in that case anyway. But again, you see, kind of see the accordion style opening here. I'll continue to pull items out. And then once I get it empty, I'll show a lot more of the inner components. But just a standard iPhone charger. The Apple AirPods, uh, I typically carry some over-the-ear headphones as well, but not within this pouch. Obviously, they wouldn't fit in here, but some over-the-ear. But these are a nice backup if your battery die and you don't want to stop listening to music or podcast or whatever you're listening to. It's nice to have some backups. And then this is the Lander battery backup. Uh, I forget how many milliamps, 6,000 milliamps. Uh, so a little bit on the smaller side, but it's relatively thin, which is nice. And... Um, this kind of pops out to expose the plugs, but the really nice thing about this is that it does wireless charging. So I have a relatively thick case on my phone. Uh, it's like a leather basketball case, um, but it's relatively thick, but it will charge through the case. And so that works really nicely and uh, don't need any additional cords for that, which is really nice. But obviously you have the option of using cords if you don't have wireless charging, but a lot of newer phones do have that. So really nice option. Uh, onto this pouch. I'm not going to get into the zippers until last just to make it easier, but have a pen just for obviously writing. I usually have a pen in my front pocket as well, but uh like to have a backup. And this is just a keyboard cleaner. It slides out with like a bristly side on this side and like a rubber grippy kind of pointed tip on this side just for cleaning up the keyboard. Super annoying when you get crumbs in there. Like with the MacBook, it's not too bad, honestly, because the keys aren't inset. But if you have a keyboard where they can fall in there, it's a nice thing to have. But even with the MacBook, it's nice to be able to just kind of sweep up crumbs if they get there. And then also a power brick for the phone charger, which is always nice to have if you're plugging into a wall. Obviously, that's better than using your backup just to save battery. Uh, and then this is an extendable HDMI cord, which comes in really handy. It's not super long. I don't remember how long it is, maybe three or four feet. Um, so not super long, but really nice to have, especially if you're, you know, I've been going to the office a little bit more frequently and our conference room typically has extra HDMI cables, but uh, sometimes you're going to like client offices and they don't, or there, there is one, but it's plugged into their main computer and they don't want to unplug it. And so just nice to have one. This one is relatively short, meaning you're going to be close to the TV, but better than nothing and uh, relatively compact. You probably could get more compact without this if you got like a flat cable and wound it up yourself without the plastic housing, uh, but it keeps it pretty organized in there, which is nice. Um, and then in this last section over here, just a cleaning cloth. This is a Civivi one, comes with all their knives. I have a ton of random ones from Civivi and other brands. And so that'll typically live in most of my pouches. Uh, even if it's not for tech, just to clean screens, knives, anything that you have with you, um, your phone. So nice to have. And then this came with it, but I will usually have one in there anyway, which is a 32 page plain notebook, uh, just plain on the inside, which I like. Uh, this one again came with this pouch actually, but I'll usually carry either like a log and jotter or a field notes, which are all three and a half by five and a half, just like this. And uh, that usually lives in my front pocket if I'm wearing like a button up shirt or my back pocket if I'm not. But I like to have a backup in my bag just in case I run out of pages or I really wanna write something unrelated. You know, if I'm taking one to work, I have a work one that I'll use or, but if I have like personal notes that I wanna write down, I might switch notebooks. So again, just nice to have a backup either for switching or for different types of notes. And that's everything that I put inside this uh, tech case, which uh, fit a decent amount, a lot more than the um, original tech case. I don't have it handy, but I'll put a link up in the corner uh, to that video if you're interested in checking it out. It's slightly smaller. It looks pretty comparable, but this one fits a ton more, um, which is really, really nice. So again, you have the front pocket up here with the pass-through, uh, which is good for small items or for putting your phone in sling mode so you can charge it. Um, and then it accordions out, and so you obviously have all of these accordion slots, but within 
there, there's some additional organization. And that's actually not it. I forgot uh, everything in the zipper pockets, which um, isn't a ton, but uh, we'll get into there as I'm showing those pockets. Um, so two of the slots have zipper pockets, this back one and then the set one right in front of it. And then in the front section, you have these two bigger kind of slots that go about half the length. So this is nine and a half inches. So you figure they're about uh, four inches or so each. Uh, kind of slid out of the way uh, right here um, four inches or so each for those slots it'll fit something like I had the magic mouse in there but it'll fit like one of these power bricks or anything really that you want to kind of keep from sliding around and then these zipper pockets the first one has some organization compartments so in here I don't have a whole lot I have two extra uh, iPhone chargers Again, super redundant. I have the full size, I, and you'll see a couple more as I go through this. But I feel like this is probably the item I use the most in here because people will ask to borrow a cord, a charging cord, and sometimes more than one person at a time needs one, and so it's just nice to have extras. Um, and these ones are really nice because they have a little bit of length to them. I think they're six or seven inches, and so you can use that in that pass-through to charge your phone or for longer things if you're plugging into like a desktop computer or a wall socket, it gives you a little bit of extra length. Um, still probably would want to use the full size for that, but it does give you a little bit of extra length, which is nice. Um, especially if like, on a, again, on a desktop, you can put it on top of the computer and have a few inches to charge. Whereas some of the other chargers I'm about to show do not have that option. Uh, so next up is this cable card, and this is inside one of those slots. So again, there's three organizational slots in here. And this is inside there. Uh, I'm going to open it off camera just because it's a little bit difficult to open. Uh, but in here there's some, well, one cord and then a bunch of converters so you can charge via USB, uh, your phone or your Android or your iPhone or your Android. It has a SIM card ejector and then you can also uh, plug this in and use it as a flashlight. So there's a small flashlight in here that works really nicely. Don't get a ton of use out of it because I typically have a flashlight that I UDC as well as obviously the flashlight on my phone but this one's nice because it's just kind of sitting there um, so a few nice little backup flashlight that works with that battery uh, and that's it in this pocket not a whole lot it can definitely fit a lot more but just didn't really have anything that uh, I felt like throwing in there and didn't want to throw stuff in there for the sake of throwing it in there and then this back one and again this is on the last divider this one, I just have a bunch of free-floating USB type things, and there's no organization in this pocket, so it's just kind of floating around in there. Um, but it has a USB condom. I mentioned this in the tech kit video as well. Uh, this is really nice if you want to charge your phone on someone's computer, but you don't want data to pass through, especially if you're at like an employer's computer where if you're plugging into it, they have rights to view any data passing through their computer and you don't want the data going from your phone to the computer this keeps it from happening and only lets power through so that's really cool this is one of the lever charging cables it has both iphone and android charging on there as well as a sim card ejector as well so a little bit of redundancy there and again this one's not very good for like if you're plugging into a desktop because you're going to plug it into that usb it's stiff and only like two maybe two and a half inches and so you plug your phone in there and it's just going to fall right out because it's too heavy. So this is nice for like the battery backup and stuff like that, but it's not super useful if you're trying to plug it into a wall or a computer. So nice to have that redundancy. Next up is two more of those USB converters again for the MacBook. So you have a couple more USB plugs. Uh, this came in a two pack, so I carry both. Um, which means I have three converters and only two, two slots to convert from. So again, a little bit redundant, but you never know, one might stop working and they're so small that no reason not to carry it. Uh, this is a micro SD card reader. Again, redundant with the SD card reader because that has micro as well. Uh, but I didn't used to, I used to just carry this one and uh, with my new camera, it takes full size SD cards and so, I converted over to that one and still have this in there. It's pretty small, so good to lend out. I don't care if I lose it because I have my other one um, or if like, I don't get it back from someone I lend it to. It's not the biggest deal in the world. So nice to have just kind of some redundancy there. That's super small footprint as well. And then this uh, USB data drive, 64 gigs. Have some files on there, but also just for grabbing files from other people. Uh, nice to have. 
and usually there's probably more floating around in my backpack, honestly, that aren't within the pouch. I like the front pocket always has some. So I usually have more than one of those. Um, surprised that I don't have more than one in this pouch, actually. Uh, but now that's everything. So you get a kind of sense of all of the different storage options inside. It's very kind of robust and fits a ton more than the tech kit, even though they're pretty similar dimension wise. Um, this one fits so, so much more, uh, which is really nice. I'm glad I was able to check this out. Uh, if you're interested in checking it out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Obviously that link works for any of the items on Alpaca. For me, I'm mainly into a lot of their like pouches and EDC stuff because that's what my center channel centers around. But I also, uh, they have backpacks, which I'm really into as well. I don't put as much of that kind of stuff on my channel, but I do have a pretty big collection. Uh, take them to work. I always have a, either a backpack or a shoulder bag, like messenger style bag on me. Um, so definitely into that stuff as well. So if you're into that, they have that available as well. Um, but again, don't do so much of that on the channel. But thanks so much for checking it out. Let me know what you think of the Alpaca Gear Elements Tech Case down in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, hope you have a great one. Take care.